Fox's Tigers today with uh, forward Hunter Shinkarik. Uh, first of all, Hunter, how many people screw up your name on a regular basis? Uh, you know, quite a bit. Uh, when I was young and uh, used to get a point or whatever and uh, they'd announce it, uh, you know, actually a lot of guys used to just say Hunter. They, uh, they wouldn't even try it out. So, uh, you know, I'm pretty used to it now. In school, roll call, uh, probably teachers uh, mess that a few uh, times up, I guess, too, eh? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, I, uh, they usually ask, and, uh, you know, I give them the proper pronunciation, and, uh, you know, then it's all good, but, uh, you know, I'm pretty used to it now. Okay. Uh, I guess, uh, what is your age and your birthday? Uh, I'm 16 right now. Uh, my birthday is October 13th, uh, 1994. How many years have you been with the Tigers for? Uh, I played here last year, so my second year this year. Uh, born and raised? Uh, what were you born and raised? Uh, brothers, sisters, and what do your parents do? Uh, I was born and raised in Calgary. Uh, I have a sister who is uh, 18, uh, first year university. Uh, my dad's a dentist, and uh, my mom just uh, kind of helps helps around the house, I guess. Nice. The uh, domestic engineer, as they call it. Eh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Played all your minor hockey in the Calgary area? or? Yeah, yeah, all my minor hockey uh, down in Calgary. All right. Uh, I guess, do you have any uh, hidden talents at all? Do you juggle, can you write poetry, um, drums, anything like that? Uh, I like to golf. Uh, you know, I'm not a bad golfer. Uh, you ever hit a hole-in-one? I have, yeah. Uh, I got a hole-in-one uh, last summer. So that was pretty, pretty awesome. Par five or what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'd like to say that, but uh, no, it was just a par three, and uh, you know, I guess it was just all luck, but uh, you know, it was pretty exciting. Sweet. All right. Uh, I guess minor hockey memories. Do you have any that kind of stick out? Is there one moment that uh, maybe an overtime goal or something? Um, not really. Uh, you know, just kind of, you know, I was always fortunate to play on, you know, a good team with good kids and good coaches. Uh, you know, I was just pretty blessed my whole way up. You know, I got good opportunity and, uh, you know, not really a moment that sticks out, though. Okay. Uh, do you have a song that kind of gets you jacked up or music you listen to before a game? Uh, probably like hip hop, uh, maybe like rap, Lil Wayne and stuff. Uh, usually when I go into the rink, I uh, listen to uh, Woe Is Me. Uh, so I don't know, I have, I have a couple songs that get me pumped up. All right, if you only had 10 minutes to grab some food before you left uh, to go out the door, not necessarily game day, what would you do? What would you grab? Uh, I'd uh, probably grab Trail Mix, a uh, big Trail Mix fan. Uh, I what else? Uh, maybe some chips and, uh, you know, cut some fruit, I guess. I'm, I'm not really too sure. If you're going to grab some chips, then you got to grab some fruit to make, uh, kind of offset it, I guess, right? Yeah, exactly. you gotta, you got to keep it healthy at the same time. But, uh, you know, I want to make sure my, uh, my taste buds are happy with my choice, too. You don't have any allergies, I guess? No, no allergies. Nice. If you only had an hour to prepare a date of, uh, with the woman of your dreams, what would you do? Wow, uh, you know, I'd, I'd probably take her out to uh, to a nice meal, uh, you know, maybe catch a movie, and then, uh, you know, we'll see where the night goes from there. <laughs> I asked Bunsy if he'd uh, take her to a hockey game, put on a shutout for her. Would you take her to a game and put on a hat trick? Yeah, I mean, if I got a hat trick, I think that would uh, that would be a pretty good pretty good way to start off the date. But uh, you know, maybe maybe I might have to try that one time. All right. Would you rather? Would you rather trip and fall on a breakaway to win the Memorial Cup and be all over YouTube for it, or win, win a million bucks and be forced to ride a donkey for the next ten years of your life? I uh, I'd probably ride a donkey for the rest of my life. Uh, you know, I I couldn't imagine coming down on a breakaway in the Memorial Cup and uh, tripping. That would be pretty pretty humiliating. So uh, you know, I think I'd take the donkey because uh, you know at least I have a million dollars. Yeah, then you can just fly everywhere, right, and bring the donkey with you, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Overtime winner. Have you scored a couple of those before? Any memorable ones? Uh, I scored a couple. I uh, in my Bantam AAA year, I think I scored uh, two overtime winners back to back. So that, that was pretty cool. Uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, maybe one this year would be kind of nice too. What's your favorite celly? Uh, you know, I'm a big celebration guy. I uh, I probably like to do uh, maybe the bow and arrow or just like the classic, uh, you know, knee swipe, I guess. Nice. Who's your NHL team? Uh, Montreal Canadiens. Uh, just liked them since I was young. So now you're not eligible to be drafted till next year. Would that be slick if Montreal decided to pick you? Uh, that'd be uh, that'd be a huge honor. But uh, you know, right now I'm just focusing on you know working my hardest and uh, you know hopefully getting drafted. Compare yourself to an NHL player out there. Uh, I think I have uh, kind of play like maybe uh, you know Henrik Zetterberg or uh, maybe uh, like a Sidney Crosby. Just you know I like to compete, but also I'm uh, you know a skilled forward who loves to put the puck in the net.
You're a user of social networking at all, Facebook and Twitter? Yeah, a uh, big Facebook and Twitter guy. Uh, you know, I've, I've had them for a while, so uh, I definitely like to do that stuff. Who has the most Facebook friends on the team? I might. Uh, maybe Bunzi seems like a popular guy, but uh, you know, I, I might, I might say I, I could take that. I, I think I have uh, a couple thousand, or just a thousand and some. So uh, you know, I, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see though. Followers on Twitter, who's got more? Oh, uh, that'll be uh, Emerson. Uh, you know, he's he's made a couple of tweets in his day that uh, you know have, have caused some uh, you know some media to uh, to follow him, and uh, you know he, he's got quite a bit of followers. Uh, is there a piece of advice maybe growing up at all that a parent or a coach has said to you that has kind of stuck with you most of your career? Uh, probably my dad. Uh, you know, he he uh, he's a big hockey fan, and you know he's just told me that uh, you know work hard, uh, you know use your skill, and have fun when you're on the ice. And uh, you know those are kind of the words that uh, you know I think about before I play a game and stuff. And that is Tigers today with uh, forward Hunter Shinkarik. Go Tigers!